continue. Lodgershaw Castle, a small ruined castle on the edge of Lodgershaw, a village in Hampshire, northwest of Andover. Regular abuse and punishment of young people, but also many ceremonies held there. Same thing. Now we've got to understand all of this comes back from the Knights Templar, yes, who migrated to Scotland built Scottish Rite Freemasonry, and uh, all of this is basically Knights Templar. Yeah. Hurst Castle, near Keyhaven, Hampshire. This is built on a peninsula, a long walk along a sandy strip, but more readily approached by ferry from Keyhaven. A victim claimed she was sometimes hung from these, ah, oh, sorry, here on. There are hooks and rings attached to the ceiling in this building, and a victim said she was sometimes hung from these by her feet, naked and then beaten and cut. Ceremonies were also held there. Coppins Ivor belongs to the Duke of Kent. Aren't you afraid the royal family are going to come after you? No. Used for meetings of cult members, including policy meetings, possibly meetings for commanders, in which case no robes would be worn, and it would appear more like a seminar or a conference. Oh. West Wickham Church. What, pedo seminar or conference? Yeah. West Wickham Church, with the Golden Bull and surrounding buildings. Dum, dum, dum. It is situated high on the hill above the Hellfire Caves, where the so-called Hellfire Club held meetings. George IV. The church has alternating black and white tiles on the floor. Checkable. And it looks more like a Masonic temple than a church. Ceremonies All Masonic temples have a checkerboard on the floor. Ceremonies are held in the church and nearby ruins. And Bloom, of course, had the checkerboard shirt for you to check on the way. Possibly also in caves nearby. Osterley Park in West London, Ceremonies. Black Park, west of London, Uxbridge. Pinewood Studios, West London, Ceremonies held there. Seven Acre Forest. In a, it, it does seem to be that the infrastructure of uh, the British Deep State is devoted to Knights Templar. Rituals, yeah, which are all about SRA. Yeah. Um, dun, dun, dun. yeah, Black Park, west of London, Uxbridge. There's a large lake. Um, yeah, Pinewood Studios, ceremonies, abuse, drowning, torture, and other forms of punishment. I don't know, I've already said that. Haven't I? Oh, God, gosh. Seven Acre Forest. Uh, yes, the red brick house with tall chimneys. Within the forest, ceremonies play, take place in the house and in the forest. Harwood Forest, east of Andover. Ceremonies, punishment. Police have actually found things hanging in the trees. Public toilets in Bournemouth. Used as a meeting place. Mm. There is a house on the top of the cliff in Bournemouth that belonged to Max Bygraves, used for meetings. Highclere Castle near Newbury, Berkshire, owned by George Herbert, Earl of Carnarvon. 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 Carnarvon, yeah. It's about funny, yeah. No, it's just Carnarvon. Ceremonies held in the castle. Briermore House near Salisbury. Ceremonies... Torture. Do, 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 do. The hall has black and white alternating tiles, like a Masonic temple. Yeah, check uh, Yeah. Highgate Cemetery, Northwest London. Used for ceremonies, burials, and desecration of graves. Arundel Castle. Nice castle, isn't it? It is a nice castle. Ceremonies take place there. 
and the daughter of the Duke, called Karina, was married to David Frost, actually now deceased, I think, isn't he? Yeah, he's kicked the bucket. Yeah. Computers with documents were held in a house in Lee Park. I haven't. Haven't a shit on Yeah. Have been happened? Many times. Yes, shit on I worked in Lee Park once in a pound shop. Shit on Very nasty. Very nasty. Always trouble. Um, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. You don't, don't. Skip that one. Branksy Castle on Brownsea Island near Pool Dorset, used for meetings and ceremonies. Epping Forest near Waltham Cross, Essex, used for ceremonies, also for punishment. Skip that one because it's not helpful. Oh. A caravan in a caravan park in Pool, used for punishment. They like their punishment, don't they? They do. Charleville Forest Castle in Ireland. Ceremonies. Hawkehurst. Ooh. Castle House near Hawkehurst, Kent, Sussex border. Belongs to the Russian Embassy. Uh, I live in Vietnam, delete that. We should Next. We should skip that. <laughs> Marchwood, Hans, a church of John, St. John the Apostle. Things went on inside the vault, the gallery and the side chapel. In the front pews next to the main aisle, there are several carved goat's heads at either end. Punishments. Got Mendes, yeah. Yeah, Amport House, near Luggershaw, belonged to the RAF. Was chaplain school for armed forces. It has secret passages and, 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 and underground rooms. <clears throat> yeah, that's it for places. Just from the south coast. Yeah, and a few scattered. Yeah, we've got that many, really. really. no, not that many. And there's a lot more. There's a lot more. No, not that many. It's just, you know, it's just a small number of miscreants in the UK. Most of the people are good, honest taxpayers, aren't they? Oh yeah, yeah. very honest. Yeah. Apart from the people in the ruling class. <laughs> now we're going to move on to people. Names. He's moving us to people. Names. Oh. Abusers. I just on the south coast. People involved. Because we live in the south coast, don't we? Yeah. Joseph Stein. Stein, could he be Jewish? Ooh. Possible. Possible. I'll skip the next one. So we're going to Why skip the next one? So we're going to expand it. Why not? Go for it. Joseph Stein's wife, I think. Oh. He's married to Martin. Yeah, Julie Stein. Ba, 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 ba. Who is this? Threatened to expose the group. Ooh. Who is Stein? Oh, there's loads of Steins here. But it's Joseph Stein. What's, what is it? Joseph Stein. <sighs> he was a keeper. A keeper of what? A keeper of abuse victims. What, paedophile sex lives? Yeah. Ah. Considerable power over people. With many altars and were hypnotised to believe they were in love with him and that he loved them. Oh, like an Epstein. Yeah, even though... Ah, the so abusers, Stein is the South Coast version of Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, and a lot of the abusers woke up to him, really. Gotcha. So Jeffrey Epstein is just one of many. And this guy's son is called Matthew, lives in Hayden Island, of all places. Mm. Can't be that specific. And now we have, you hear about the hypnotists used. Yeah, MK Ultra. Don Taylor, known as <clears throat> Peter, a clinical... Psychologist. He does yeah, the hypnosis yeah. using blue lights. Use altars. Southampton. South here yeah, from Southampton, Kitchener. Website dontaylor.org.uk. So if you want to 
get MK Ultra Alters, contact him. Lord William Rees Mogg. Lord William Rees Mogg. Oh, interesting. I don't. I've never heard of Rees Mogg. No. Apart from Rees Mogg in the Tory uh, MP lot, yeah. who's um, you know. Geoffrey Levy, a Daily Mail columnist. Levy. Yeah. Jewish again. Just by chance. or actually uh, abusers. Oh. I've been given uh, enough information on that one. Oh. Susan James, the records department, Bristol Royal Infirmary, Infirmary, passes on messages and gives information about patients. I think she's a low line fish. Bruce Parker from Winchester works as a TV presenter on Southern TV. Oh. Yeah. Lord Montague, Yuli, also known as the Grand Master. Oh? Yeah. You're not getting invited, are you? <laughs> ah, it's one of the cars are, isn't it? <laughs> I'm keeping you still. <laughs> You've gone quiet, Tim. I have. I'll let you hang yourself. Mike Hancock, MP. Max Hastings, editor and journalist. Telegraph. Duke of Norfolk. Aaron de Castle. Sir David Frost, the singer. <laughs> Katrina Prescott, Doctor, Brighton. Virginia Bottomley. Yeah. Virginia Bottomley, Secretary of State for Health during the 1990s, authorised Jean LaFontaine's research into organised and ritual abuse. And when the report came out, she announced on BBC Radio 4 that she was delighted that the myth of ritual abuse had been exploded. Yeah, we had this Scottish Island stuff about satanic ritual abuse in the Scottish Islands. And it, it was proven that it was totally false. Ted Heath. Ooh. Oh, well, that came out in the papers after the Sandwich Big started, time, yeah. didn't it? And Cyril Smith. Cyril the big, Smith. fat, liberal yeah. pedo. Yeah. yeah. Ted Heath was uh, into children. According to these victims, yeah, he has been mentioned by at least five victims. None of them know each other. Several of them described long his long fingernails and that he wore false claws, which he clawed his child victims with. The cult held the funeral on the thirty-first of July. Of Teddy. Oh no, 31st, 1st of July in August 2005. Dr Robert Wells was a police surgeon in Winchester and Southampton and he was actually convicted on June 2004 of raping and sexually assaulting young girls. He got 15 years in prison. Now this is interesting. What is Dr Shreyas Deepak Raj... What? Of Rustington, Littlehampton. He doesn't look like a white boy. No. He is available to the group for treatment of any members who are excessively beaten. Obviously, you can't take them to hospital. Mm. Too many questions. He also does experimental operations to practice his surgical skills. Some years ago, he did a bilateral mas... Mas... Tommy. Yeah, chopping tits off. Just my glasses. I've got new glasses and they're very focal, so I have to... No, I'm looking at the right just a fuck tired. Just a fuck, yeah. And the tracheostomy. Thing. Yeah, it's probably a hole in your throat. Yeah. The latter went wrong and caused severe damage on the larynx. Yes, yeah, so you Which he had problem. to have a surgical repair job in France. That was the Not in things. England. This victim knew, knew this person, spoke to the other victim, and her voice was very husky. David Queen, I'm not sure if he was a victim, but it's, it's, he said he was killed by the group. Michael Winner, actor, writer and director. Oh, the Jew director, yeah. Yeah. 
Lord Peter Goldsmith, Attorney General under Tony, Tony Blair's government, lives in London. When a victim was shown a photo of him, she said, that's Peter Goldsmith. I've seen him at Bewley and other places. He was the one who made the Iraq war legal. John Hodinot, former chief constable of Hampshire. Oh, so it looks like the police were involved, police were involved. in covering up mass SRA. Michael Barrymore, Michael. all over the news. Who's Current Michael Barrymore? Problem. Michael Barrymore did um, game shows on TV and a guy called Stuart was killed in his swimming pool. Anally abused. There was other people there. Were they homosexuals? They were all homosexuals. Or was he richly sexually abused and drowned? Ah. I don't know. I'm just asking the question. I don't know. I wasn't there. Clive Johnson, a keeper master. Oh, sex slave. Um, hold them, locks them in cages and keeps them. Brian Farmer, a forger on the Isle of Wight. I don't know what he forged. Who knows? Who knows? He does. Bum, bum, bum. Who crossed that one out? Who crossed that one out? Some people might be lucky here because I don't want to put people up if I'm not sure if they're victims or not. Richard Attenborough. Brother of David, the um, climate change. Yeah, the Messiah. The Messiah. Beatified with Greta Thunberg. Friend of Greta. Who is the um, poster child of our camera, the Swedish camera? <laughs> Jean Lafontaine. Conducted research funded by the Department of Health under Virginia Bottomley. Interesting. The document was called The Extent and Nature of Organised and Ritual Abuse. Fontaine is said to be a high priestess or higher and actually was atten attended Ted Heath's cult funeral ceremony night, ceremony night on the 31st of the 7th. Stroke the 1st of the 8th, confirmed by people many times that she has attended important ceremonies at Bewley and other places. Hmm, Retur referred to as the Fountain Lady, very cruel lady. Max Bygraves, another chief entertainer. His flat in London was used occasionally for meetings. And we have the enforcers enforcing the abused victims that they pick up on the streets. Yeah, we know Weinstein had Mossad yeah. to uh, enforce um, and uh, put his victims in line. And Epstein had uh, plenty of Mossad enforcers. Yeah. And we know that um, Polanski was smuggled out of the USA by... Um, Israelis. Jim Bullpit. Margie Laker, said to be a female enforcer. Oh, that would be uh, Gislaine Maxwell these days. She was the female enforcer for Epstein. Wow. Who is still wandering around unprosecuted. Mark Davis likes to be known as the Marquis, Marquis, Mark, how do you pronounce that one? <laughs> yeah, the Marquis. Marquis. The Marquis. Like Marquis the Salt. Yeah. The Saint. Known as the Keeper Master. A very arrogant man. Mm. Sounds like a bit exaggerated to me. Wears a signet ring with a castle on it. Works in banking for Hamburg. George Wise, known as Jerry, another keeper. Carol Marsden, a female enforcer. Mick Jones, a male enforcer. Mm. 
victim. Aged 14, made pregnant by a cult, the baby was removed for sacrifice by a caesarean section with no anaesthetic. Despite Raj's efforts to save her, she died. Raj, Dr. Raj, nice to meet Jason McAteer, a junkie and enforcer, killed by the cult with an overdose of drugs. Charles Clark, MP. Peter de Savary. You know him? Yeah. Heard of him? Ray Aldridge Morris, a psychologist, wrote many sceptical papers on satanic ritual abuse. Lord McAlpine. Yeah, big time. Lord yeah. McAlpine. Holy shit. Alvin Stardust. Yeah. Michael Portillo, politician. Yeah, the um, Queen. Of the BBC. Of Rod, the BBC. Rod Matthews, very high in the cult, being a commander. In 2004, he had some dispute and decided to give evidence to the police. He was forced to attend a cult ritual, was found guilty and killed by them at Halloween on the 31st of the 10th, 2004. David Richardson, male enforcer. D.I. Williams. Di. Di Williams, female enforcer. These are all at that level. Both these two were considered not to have fulfilled their duties, later learned that they had been tried by the cult and punished. Both killed in ceremony. Wow. We have some watches. Bertram Hodkinson, a mason. Grand Order of the Water Rats. Important in the cult as a commander. Ruth Kelly MP. She lowered the fetal age of permission of permissible abortion and also attended Ted Heath's occult funeral. Lord Carnarv Carnarvon, owner of Highclere Castle. William Chambers, a solicitor, helps the cult for cash. May not be a cult member or need to attend ceremonies. Margaret Kenwood, Winchester junkie, recruits runaway kids. Um, let's see if find some. Reverend Crispin Hollis, R.C. Bishop of Portsmouth. He organised the group that people were, were abused in. Chief Constable Terry Grange, Guyford Pop, I can't pronounce that one, it's Welsh. Griffith. Helps groups. He has now been discredited. Mm, misuse of police funds and all sorts. Barbara North, hospital administrator, lives in Andover, gives information on the fringe. Philip Compton, driver for the group. Lord Porchester, son of Lord Carnarvon. Anne Mahoney in Wales was in the national use and kept dead babies in her attic. You can look at some of this up. John Morriston, a high commander, very important in the group. Paul Boateng, an MP, yeah, mentioned, Boateng, yeah. mentioned by survivors. We have Henry Marshall, a master, has a scar on his right shoulder. Lord Moyne, connections with the Guinness family. Marquis of Bath, Longleat. A victim claims ceremonies were held there and she has seen Borob bodies buried in the ground. Giles Harrington, one of the hypnotists. Alan Williams, the new commander known as the judge. David Hunt, known as Merlin. 
Noel, Jason, and Minder. Dun, 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 I'm going to skip this one. Stephanie Wiseman, a junkie used to produce babies for sacrifice or abuse. Julian Kent, a priest in London. Now let's look at who attended some of the people that attended Ted Heath's cult funeral ceremony in Salisbury. Virginia Bottomley, Jean Lafontaine, Lord Montague, Lord Moyne of the Guinness family, Ruth Kelly, Education Minister, Charles Clark, a home, previous Home Secretary, James Goodliffe from the MOD, Carl Merrington, Nick Fuller, Josh Robbins, Nigel Traylon, we have a, uh, David Brindle writes for The Guardian, cult member, Hugh Muir writes for The Telegraph, um, Dr John Bancroft, retired psychiatrist in psychosexual disorders from Oxford, Hugh Freeman, former British editor of the British Journal of Psychiatry, Tabas Dr. Father Des Connolly, John the Baptist Church in Andover. Brian Duke, who was a te teacher. Hakan Dakar, Greek overseer into sadomasochism. Masochism. Masochism. Dun, dun, Tony Heaford, a counsellor in Rochdale. Cyril Smith, he's dead. Yeah, big fat Peter. Yeah. Elizabeth Newson, child psychiatrist from Nottingham. Bruce Parker, I might have mentioned him earlier. <coughs> Richard Ingrams, former editor of The Private Eye. Yeah. <coughs> As you can see, um, the whole of uh, the British great and the good are involved in SRA. Peter Mandelson, former MP, British Commissioner for the EU for Trade since 2004. Yeah, Blair's best buddy. Previous. Involved in a cult in France and Brussels. Likes boys. Yeah. Everyone knows that one. Pays cult, the cult cash for rent boys, but seems to be part of it. He ordered se severe torture prior to the murder of a boy called Kevin, aged 17, a runaway from Newcastle, who had some hold over him and was blackmailing him. Kevin was tortured and killed, and his body was dumped in his sea on the south coast after being cut up. Yep. That's Lord Benson. EU Commissioner. David Richardson and Di Williams, mentioned earlier, both killed in a ceremony in London. Kevin East committed suicide. One of the victims spoke of him as a flying fairy or FF and he jumped out of a window after taking LSD. <coughs> Very cruel and sadistic man liked watching snuff movies. Lord Drayson bought a house from Princess Michael of Kent. Lord Falconer, ex Lord Chancellor. As you see, the whole infrastructure of the UK is SRA, which goes back to Knights Temple. Skipping out a few because there's a lot of victims, you know, I don't need to read their names. No, yeah, the victims, but. Um, ah, Simon Thomas, a vicar in the United Reformed Church. He says they're possibly in jail for abusing boys. <coughs> Bob Woffenden wrote a sceptical article about SRA for the private eye and also wrote anonymously. K. Edwards, very sadistic previously, but since her own torture has been kinder. Ah, so 
Some of them tried to reform themselves. Didn't make much difference. Professor Gisley Good Johnson, a London University professor, frequently acts as an expert witness in child abuse cases and SRA cases. He is paid six thousand pounds. We've gone up by now. By Colts for every SRA case he successfully discredits. Associated with um, Tony Baker, Charles Clark, and Bill Thompson. A victim. Victim. Messenger. Victim. Victim. Skip that whole page, didn't that one? Cut.